Hi Cancer, how's it going? Welcome to my channel, Universal Intuition. My name is Jacqueline. Thank you all so much for being here. Today's video is going to be your mid-July <clears throat> general reading, again for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Sorry about that. As we always do, Cancer, right after this general reading, I go right into your love reading. If you'd like to join us for the love reading, it's the first link in the description box below. And what we do over there, in case you're new, hello and welcome. Thank you for being here. Uh, in the love readings, we look at the other person you're dealing with right now, Cancer, and we see how they feel towards you, mutual energies, their true intentions for you moving forward, outcome energy, you know, where is y'all's relationship or connection headed in the future, their next step, your next step, advice. We go over so much in the love readings if you'd like to join. Again, that's in the description box below. All right, let's get into it. <clears throat> I've just finished drinking a smoothie. I think that's why I'm a little... <clears throat> so pardon me. I hope y'all had a lovely birthday, Cancer. Um, y'all are so lovely. So I hope y'all had a lovely time celebrating you. As we are starting to wrap up your season and go into Leo season. All right, Spirit, what are the best and highest messages for Cancer? We've got three more shuffles. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Mid-July. What is it that Cancer needs to know, see, or hear at this time? Thank you. I feel the energy like really ramping up. Like it went from like cool, calm, and collected to like, oh my God, what's happening? <laughs> It like really took a quick jump. So I feel like there's some like excitement coming. Page of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Some of you could be dealing with a younger air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay, but right behind that is the Five of Swords. So it could be talking, texting, communication, social media. Um, you know, kind of keeping an eye on someone or, or, or light communication with someone who we've had a little bit of trouble with. Someone we've maybe, um, you know, a friend, a coworker, a partner, someone, or even two people, because there's three people in this card. Um, you know, that you're, you're talking to, but lightly, lightly, okay? But I feel like it's, it's, um, it's talking and texting and, and messaging or inquiring. I hear inquiring about what happened, what was said. Because for some reason, I'm really looking at his face and I hope y'all can see, but he doesn't look super happy. I'm seriously on his face. It, it looks like WTF, WTF. I try not to curse on my channel, so y'all know what I'm saying. He's just like, what? what huh like mm, i'm gonna have something to say back like y'all are gonna clap back i feel like all right y'all are clapping back at something what's crossing this energy for cancer six of wands so it's gonna be good and the queen of pentacles Woo! all right so um this is actually really, really beautiful. And the magician. So what I'm picking up right now, that could have just been a separate message for y'all, but you know, what's going on is I feel like you're texting, talking, starting a conversation um, with, it could be an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, but I kind of feel like a business plan or, you know, a, a project that will be successful. Like maybe you're wondering, you know, I'm trying to start a project. I'm trying to research page of swords. I'm trying to dig up some information. Um, I'm trying to, um, do some collaborations. That's what it was trying to come in. Col collaborate, collabor collaborations with other people that are maybe are in your same field of what you're trying to do. But I feel like you're curious about will it be successful? Will this be something that you know takes me takes me far? But you are with the magician. You're manifesting some type of new project, a new job. Um, some of you are trying to manifest an earth sign specifically. What's the focus here for cancer? Oh, the fool wanted to pop out and then went back in. <laughs> What's the focus here for cancer? Queen of swords in reverse. If you're dealing with an air sign, your focus is to maybe not, um, I don't know, I'm hearing back burner. Air signs on the back burner. Air signs are on the back burner. Let's get one more with the focus. Um, 
Another thing I'm picking up with this Queen of Swords in reverse. Oh my God. And then it came out to confirm. Thank you. Um, we have the Hermit as well in reverse. And then the Ten of Wands in reverse. And then the Emperor. And then the World card. So, Cancer. You're going through a cycle. You're ending some heaviness right now, right? You're letting go of some burdens. That's the focus. And I love the Emperor with this energy because this is saying you got this. I really feel like you've... Like you're in a situation right now where you've been through, you've done this thing so many times. It's like there's no, there's no, there's not, I'm, I'm, try, I'm like, am I in a cancer reading or in an air reading or earth reading? Because I feel like there's no emotion here and that's very different for you. I feel like a lot of you have maybe even recognized, remember how we first saw the Page of Swords looking at that Five of Swords? Like maybe there was an argument, a disagreement, you and one person or a group of people um, aren't seeing eye to eye. You know, it could be a, a breakup for some of you. Um, but whatever it is, there's no emotion here. And the Spirit is reminding me that right now. And that's very different for you, Cancer. Wow. That's very different for you, but I feel like you're you're dealing with these endings, completing this cycle, because you are starting something new, but I feel like there's a lot of endings that need to happen first. Shedding some skin, um, wrapping up some chapters, closing those doors, putting them in the cabinets, locking them away, putting them in the moving boxes and get them out of here. But you're doing that kind of in silence here. Even though these cards are in reverse, I feel like a sense of silence. Some of you specifically could be releasing a Virgo, again, or an air sign, a, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. What's been in the past? But again, let's not forget, I keep remembering why y'all are not emotionally invested in this. If you're not emotionally invested and not emotionally fulfilled with something, you have to ask yourself, why are you in it? What's been in the past here for Cancer? Queen of Wands, you know, could have been dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but I feel like you got really upset. Like I hear raising your, someone raised their voice, maybe someone that raised their voice at you, maybe you raised your voice at someone else, maybe both of you have raised your voices. Anger, a lot of why, why, why did you do that? A lot of upset feelings and energies over here. And look at that, two of cups. I feel like for a lot of you, Cancer, this is about, could be about love, a friendship, a family member. This is about someone that you really care about. Okay, yeah, there's that five of swords with the queen of wands. Yeah, there you are. There you are, queen of cups, Cancer, whether you're a male watching. It's like you feel what's been happening, like, but you're really tapped out emotionally. And that's very different, again, very different for you. Like, I'm a water sign. I'm a Pisces, sun and moon, cancer rising. Water, 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 water. <laughs> feelings, 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 feelings. I don't feel, I, I don't, besides this, I don't feel or see any emotion from you. So you've been very much in your logical mind. Nothing wrong with that. Cause sometimes cancers, we get a little whew, carried away in the emotions. So I feel like you had to take this situation, this breakup, this switch, this new project, this releasing, whatever your situation is, you had to take it more in a logical stance because if you stayed in your emotional, um, in your emotional energy in the situation, I feel like you just wouldn't have done anything about it. I feel like it, it, something took you, something, a situation, something happened to where you had to kind of get in this Queen of Wands in reverse energy to like really get pissed off about something that's happened in your past for you to take action. And sometimes that's the way the universe works. If you're not getting a, a message, if you're not seeing a repeating pattern, it's gonna, the universe is gonna keep handing it to you over and over and over and over again. And sometimes until we get completely piss, pissed off and I'm hearing irrational um, to where we have to really, you know, okay, 
like call it like that's enough it's enough <clears throat> temperance in reverse just popped out on its own some of you um could have been dealing with a sagittarius or be dealing uh with someone who's having some addiction problems all right what's the crowning energy here for cancer Oy. three of wands two of souls waiting for your ships to come in but you're still in some type of decision mode. Let's clarify the two of swords. I feel like for a lot of you, king of wands, clarifying the two of swords, king of wands, moon in reverse. There you are, cancer. <laughs> but your energy is, oh, sorry. The moon is in reverse, which is actually a really good thing because when the moon is like full on upright, that's heavy. That's heavy energy right there. A lot of uncertain energy. So in your mind right now, you know, you are still trying to make a decision, you know, and this is really how I see it. Two of swords, she's on the beach. There's a lot, it's swords energy, so it's, it's, it's air energy thoughts, communications, decisions, but look at all that water. Like, it's like your emotions are way back over there, Cancer. Your emotions are like way back there in the sea. The rest of your crab family, your friends, everyone else is like way deep in the ocean. Like, where's that other Cancer at? Oh, you're up here on the shore trying to make decisions, trying to make 3D decisions. You know, you want things to get better. Look, water, and then there's a, a, a fire sign. Some of you are maybe deciding on an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, male or female. Um, but I feel like you are coming to see the light, okay? The moon card in reverse to me is very much an ace of swords energy of, oh, I get it. I get it. I get it. I see what I need to do. I need to make a decision. <clears throat> What's in the future here for Cancer? Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Yes. No more waiting. When I get Seven of Pentacles in reverse, to me, it's, you know, you've been waiting, you've been planting this, these seeds of intention. I am having trouble talking today. Um, I feel like Mercury retrograde is over with, right? Like, <laughs> uh, maybe it's still in the shadow phase. But anyways, Seven of Pentacles, planting seeds of intention, you know, watering something, waiting for it to grow, to blossom, to bloom, to become abundant. Um, something that you can really, really take advantage of. But um, this is beautiful because it's in the reverse, which means something's coming in right now. What's coming in for Cancer with the Seven of Pentacles? What seed did they plant in the past that's coming to fruition in the future? Oh. Oh, your emotions. Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Your emotions, Cancer. And then the Ten of Wands in reverse. Yeah, you weren't giving yourself in the past enough time to heal over something, again, that's happened in this Five of Swords, a little bit of a Three of Swords energy, um, a little bit of heartbreak, something going on. And it's all catching up with you now. I feel honestly like some of you, bear with me here, Cancer, if those of you that are still here, um, I feel like you planted a seed of intention in the past that says no matter how many of these I go through, I'm gonna, you know what, maybe I'm gonna try to leave my emotions out of it this time. Maybe I'm just, you know, Cancer, we're so emotional. Blah, blah, blah. Maybe I'll leave that aside this time, right? I feel that kind of energy. I'm gonna leave that aside this time. And then the way that it's coming out now is now you're really upset about something because you put your emotions aside and it instead turned into anger. You're supposed to use your emotions for a reason. It's your natural, uh, it's your natural beautiful abilities that you have, your intuition, your psychic abilities, your empathy that helps you connect not only with yourself but with many others. Okay, you've wanted to put these wands down quite a long time ago and I feel like you have and now it's time to release. And really check in emotionally. I'm hearing sever your losses. 
What is Cancer's power in the situation? Spirit, what is Cancer's power in the situation? Uh, Hierophant in reverse. There's the Queen of Cups. Yeah, break it off. Your power is to break it off. Break a commitment. You know, if you're like stuck in a miserable job, you can break it. Your happiness, your emotional happiness and fulfillment, your emotional state and mental state is, is so important. You know, marriage for some of you, maybe that's in question. But your power is to break. I'm hearing breaking. Breaking the, breaking the cycle, breaking the spell, breaking the karma, breaking, breaking the commitment. Okay? It's okay to change your mind. I feel like some of you need to hear that. It's okay to change your mind. What's in, <clears throat> came out too quick, it was Emperor. What is in Cancer's environment, please? Environment for Cancer in the situation. <laughs> Eight of Swords. Four of Wands in reverse, <clears throat> Three of Cups in the upright, Two of Cups in reverse. Someone can't stop thinking about what they did with a third party in your environment, someone around you. Someone that you live with, a friend, maybe you're married to, a partner, husband, wife, boyfriend, girlfriend. They cannot get out of their heads because what was at the bottom of the deck, this third party, and that's disrupting y'all's happy home. So Cancer says, peace out. <laughs> oh, Cancer, I love y'all so much. Okay, what is, what is Cancer's hopes and fears in the situation? Thank you, Spirit. What is Cancer's hopes and fears in this situation? Wait. Don't fall on the floor again. Okay. Nine of Swords in reverse. Oh, what a wonderful feeling. I feel and look, see, she's around now. Queen of Cups keeps showing up at the bottom of the deck. I always look at the bottom of the deck. I don't know why I had to get close to it. I always look at the bottom of the deck as like an extra message, as kind of a theme for the cards that fall out. You know, people ask me that. But your hope and fear is nine of swords. You want to get out of your head. You want to get some rest. You've been dealing with so, 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 so much cancer. It's like you just need, like, I'm hearing nine days, like nine days of just you time, of quiet time, of, it doesn't have to be nine days, but just the number nine was coming in. I know we're talking about the nine of swords, but it's, it's like you've been dealing with so much and kept, there was just these layers and layers and layers of dealing with it, dealing with it, okay, I can do it, I can't, this and that, push and pull back and forth. You at least want to be in a place where I can sleep a little bit better tonight, you know? Let's get another for hopes and fears for cancer. Hopes and fears for cancer. Eight of Pentacles. I feel like a lot of you are going to shift your energy right now. Yeah, Ace of Swords to, you know, your work, some type of project. Um, you know, this is about mastering your craft. So for a lot of you right now, if this is maybe about a relationship that's not working out, you know, put your energy right now, you know, A, into healing and doing whatever you need to do necessary. But also, you know, I feel like cleaning the home, details of the home, you know, cleansing energy. Um, I feel like some of you, it would benefit you to like go through and, and get rid of any items, clothing, stuff that's, that belongs to other people that it doesn't have to be like, say you're breaking up with someone like that person stuff needs to go right now. Maybe it should. But I also feel like for some of you, there's like even stuff from the past, like old partners that you're hanging on to, like a picture here, a, a momentum, a uh, memento there. Like, you know, it, it's time to really clean house. And, and I mean clean house, yeah, physically, here, here, spiritually. I feel like that's going to really, really make you feel better if you start to work towards the things that have been stressing you out. 
okay? Even though I feel like this is mostly about a person that's, you're trying to figure out if you should stick it out or work it out or are they bad news, you know, that's up to you. But in the meantime, I feel like like a, a piece of advice from spirit, what I'm feeling like is, is start paying attention to the things that have been um, not taken care of recently. You know, like I've been doing that for example, um, like things in my, like little things that have been bothering me. Like it's the stupidest little thing, but, but, but for like two years or more on my car, my blinker, I have like the, a car where the, the, the side view mirrors have blinkers on them and my passenger one, it's been dead or not working for years. And it's the silliest little thing, but I, I think about it all the time and I just haven't done anything about it. I just do it, all, I think about it all the time. It's not required, I, my other blinkers work, y'all know what I'm saying? It's just like that one little, like stupidest little thing. Jacqueline, go to, the, go to the store and get that blinker and put it in there. Like, you know, it's just the littlest, littlest things I feel like will start turning around your energy of like, it was a small thing, I've been worried about it, but it's no big deal. I can do it, I can, I can start taking on one task at a time. And I feel like once you build up this confidence, I feel like a lot of things have been pushed off, Cancer, because there's been something else in your way. Almost, I wanna say distraction, in a way. And now that some of that is being <clears throat> pushed aside, you know what I mean? Like you're making some decisions to break things off with some people or, or, or just put you first, in that energy, it is time to also, you know, finish those unfinished projects, if you will. And it will make you feel better. It will make you feel really, really good. I made a list of things like that that I need to do. And, I, and I've gone through like half the list, but like, in the, like later today or tomorrow, I'm going to the auto parts store and getting my blinker. <laughs> All right, let's get the outcome here for Cancer, Eight of Wands in reverse. No communication, you don't wanna talk about it, and that's bringing, that's bringing balance back into your life with the Six of Pentacles. Ace of Swords is behind that. Yeah, you don't need to, I feel like you just don't wanna to talk to anybody about anything right now. You just wanna be in your own little world, doing your own little thing and do that. But I feel like all these people coming at you, like you just don't, I feel like a lot of people are wondering what's maybe going on, especially if some of y'all are going through a divorce. Um, Cause we did see thir uh, three of cups. I'm feeling a third party from someone from the outside. And um, you know, and you're thinking, you know, whatever is going on here or leaving a job or whatever, you know, you don't have to explain that to anybody. You don't have to explain that to anybody. Okay, I feel like you will over time, but don't feel like you need to do that right now, this very second. So um, I feel like a lot of this is about love for you. If y'all wanna check out the love reading, where we're gonna um, figure out what's going on with your other person and how they feel towards you and all that kind of stuff, check out the extended below, it's the first link. If this is where we part, Cancer, I love y'all so much and I'll see y'all soon, bye.